Hi, in this video I'm changing the way the motor is bolted to my lathe. At the moment it's free floating on a pivot and it moves up and down and I can feel the vibration through the headstock. So I want to change that. I'm going to independently mount the, mo mount the motor. So I'm dismantling it and I'm going to turn the bracket around, which the pivot bracket that is, so that the bolt holds at the back instead of being at the front. And I'm going to use that bolt hole to connect it to a couple of um, rails which I'm going to fabricate out of angle iron. After I've turned the bracket round, I'm going to mark the position through the bolt hole onto the um, angle iron and I'm going to uh, cut. Um, well, I'm going to drill some holes in it first, and then I'm going to cut a couple of slots in it to take a coach bolt. After I drilled the holes, I'm going to cut the slot out with my jigsaw, making sure that it's not too wide so that it traps it. It traps the head of the coach bolt, stop it from turning. Yeah, the slots have to take up belt tension by sliding the motor along them and then clamping it down with old down clamps. I'm making quite a thick pedestal to take the vibration out the motor and also I'm going to isolate the motor on some rubber matting. I'm using a couple of handmade screw down knobs and a couple of coach bolts and also I'm putting a block of uh, wood wrapped with um, matting just to take the vibration out the front. I've aligned the belt pulleys up and now I'm screwing everything down into position. I'm happy with that, but all I need to do now is put the pulley guard back on and bolt it down onto my workbench and do some turning. If you like the video, please like and share and don't forget to subscribe.